Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, season 30, and this is the second war of the season. And it looks like we're going up against an alliance called Black Widow. All right, so let's go ahead and spectate and see what they have in store for us. Now, I take uh, path three in sections one and two. So first up, we've got a guardian here. And then we've got a tigra. No mini. Okay. And we've got kingpin here. Yeah, yep, yep. And Mole Man. All right, and then we've got, hmm, Storm Pyramid X. I'm trying to think. Yeah, and then we've got Killmonger, Sentinel, ooh, and a Korg on that node. Interesting. Hmm. So what I'm thinking, because I love bringing in uh, Corvus. So I was looking at this to see if Corvus would be viable. Uh, Corvus can take that Guardian, no problem, get a charge there. Uh, Tigra, uh, he could do that one as well. Uh, I usually don't mess with the uh, middle. He could also take that um storm pyramid x and get another charge yeah he could take that uh killmonger as well as well as that um sentinel so yeah and for that mini there uh black widow clairvoyant I would not use her for that one. Um, maybe Warlock might be better uh, for that one, but definitely not um, not Claire. Hmm. Let's take a look at the uh, minis here on Mini Boss Island. Got a Nihilus. Claire could do that fight if I don't mess up. Uh, Nick Fury, Claire could also do that fight uh, if I bring my Nick Fury in. Nick Fury can also do that fight against Nick Fury. And Doom, um, preferably a Human Torch could handle that Doom. And down here, we've got Mojo. We've got, um, we've got Cosmic Ghost Rider. We've got Spider Ham. I'm trying to think as I'm, I'm looking at this, uh, honestly, what we did in my last alliance, and it looks like what they do here as well, um, towards the end, if backup wasn't needed anywhere, um, then backup comes in, brings in a solution for, you know, three different fights, boosts once, and then just clears it. So, we'll see. So, right now, I'm thinking Corvus. Because Corvus, yeah, Corvus can do every fight on my path. Uh, I bring Claire in case I'm needed for that uh, Annihilus there. And for that Korg, I really, really don't know. Because, see, that node has the buffet. Yeah, this this one, you really want somebody that can heal block. So, Claire is not a good option for this fight. I almost had a little PS, uh, PTSD 
uh, remembering the last time I faced Korg on that node. Um, but Warlock would be a better option uh, for that fight if push came to shove and uh, I was needed to take that many down. So uh, I think that's what I'll do. I'll bring in uh, Corvus. I'll bring in uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. And I'll bring in Warlock. Yeah, and that should cover the left side there. And it's kind of late right now, and they'll be active. So by the time, you know, I'll go in, I'll do my fights, um, but I might not be able to even reach um, reach that Storm Pyramid X by the time uh, I wake up. So I might not get a chance to uh, fight her, but we'll see. We will see how it goes. All right, so uh, that's what I'm going to bring in. And then I'll be back to uh, do these fights and then wait until uh, they wake up. They're in a different time zone. And by the time I wake up, I'll take a look. And if they uh, have not taken down that storm, I'll do it with Corvus. If they have done it already, then I'll just keep going and do the uh, other fights here. All right, so we will be right back. All right, so I am going to go in with this team and Corvus, once again, uh, comes to war. I'm really enjoying uh, bringing Corvus back into war. I really am. All right, so... As you can see here, you know, first fight is going to be Guardian. And I could possibly get two charges off of Guardian, but it's dangerous to try to do that. That auto block, I, I don't want to trigger it and get stunned and then get wrecked. So usually I don't go for uh, two charges off of Guardian. I'll just fight him, get the tech charge, and be happy. Uh, so you can see here, I'm still getting used to the new layout. Um, I boosted up a little bit, you know, not a lot, but uh, it helps Corvus. All right, so here we go. Here you go, medium light, medium attacks. Medium light, medium. And I am fighting with a five-star Corvus. Uh, if we were serious about war, I would probably uh, go in with my six star. But the five star did the job. Um, we're not at a really, really high tier. But we have been fighting uh, some folks that do have a, a few rank threes, um, six star rank threes. So, you know, it can be a little bit challenging, but uh, so far... Uh, the five-star boosted up uh, works out just fine. So now we got Tigra, who can be tricky. She can be very tricky. Um, but I've got a mission under my belt. I'm running suicides. And we are just chopping her down, as you can see. Look at this. And this time, when I do the special two, it finishes her off. Unlike that previous fight, where it left him with a little bit of health, so that I took the recoil damage. I hate when that happens, but it happens. So, path is cleared, and there is no um, mini boss there. They didn't place anyone there. All right, so uh, I left, came back in. Um, now, what was funny is that I woke up early. Uh, this was not normal. And so I was like, whoa, you know, I'm going to be able to get to that Storm Pyramid X. Remember I said earlier, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get there. But I actually woke up before uh, they uh, got active. Now, this fight, 
uh, taught me a lesson. And you'll see in the fight uh, something I did, so a choice that I made that I will probably never make again. Um, but you'll see. You'll see what happens. All right. So I'm just going ahead. I'm boosting up, you know, uh, doing good here. And I want to, you know, be a little bit safe. All right. So I was looking down for those. All right. So you see the cosmic power boost. And I said, all right, let me uh, get the 200 percent and we're going to rock. We should be able to do back to back special twos and finish the fight quick. That's the plan. OK, that is the plan going in here. So. We're all set up. We are ready. And um, I'm looking, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe a gray boost. We've got uh, extra power for our um, our specials, and then boom. So I'm ready to take her out quick. Get to that special two, and then just go boom, back to back, and we're done. Okay? So you see I started with a bar of power. All right? That glancing is really annoying, let me tell you. So she, she's a good defender, um, but... Here we go, all right? Now, I shouldn't have blocked those. I took so much damage, but whatever. I knew I was gonna be able to get her out. And then I lost power. I was like, whoa, what just happened? I was like, why, why am I not at a special two already? So this time I did a full hit combo, boom, boom, boom. And I went to a special three. And I got stunned at that point. You done messed up, A.A. Ron! Cause my plan fell apart. I did too much damage and it was too much power back. So instead of a quick boom, boom, special two, special two, I had a moment in distra uh, of distraction and she capitalized on it, took me out. I was so upset with that, man. I was so mad at myself. That is when I messed up. I will not do that again. That 200% power boost plus the extra damage was too much. That fight should have been easy. If I had gone with 150% power boost, she would have been dead. I would have been boom, 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 and done. Just two back-to-back -back special twos. But when I saw, first I was a little out of sorts because of the node, um, and it's the node why I lost power. Um, anytime a buff expires for whatever reason, you lose a little bit of power. So uh, that kind of caught me by surprise, but I was like, okay, no problem. I can build up to a special um, two and then just do back-to-back -back special twos. And then that failed on me. And when I saw that I went to a special three, I could have fired my special three, but I was so stunned. I was like, whoa, a special three. And that was all it took. Just that little quick moment of indecision cost me the fight. You know, plus choosing to, to use uh, a 200% power boost. No. I now remember that I couldn't even use the 200% power boost um, when I fought with uh, Ghost. Because when I did 200% tech power boost, I would often go right to a special three, which is not what I wanted. I wanted to cycle her special twos. So those 200% boosts, might be useful if you want to um, cycle special threes and I'll use them if I ever get into that situation. Like maybe if I'm fighting with a symbiote Supreme or something like that. But if I'm wanting to cycle special twos, stick with the 150% power boost. That would have worked even with the extra special damage that I had put on as well. So lesson learned. We will move on. One death that could have been avoided, but it wasn't a useless death because I learned from it. Okay. So now this fight, not worried about it. Just like that Killmonger fight we just had. Very easy, you know, medium light medium so that he doesn't build up analysis charges and make the fight take a little bit longer. Um, but as you can see, we're just chopping him down. 
We, we won't even need a special. Just chop them down. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Done. That's it. Easy. So, Corvus still got it. He still got it. All right. Now, um, we go over to Mini Boss Island here. And as you can see, all done. Except for the boss. And it's Penny. And we had someone go in there. And it looks like Magneto is the man against that Penny. But anyway, that's it for my participation in this war. We'll be back in a little bit. And you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So we are one and one so far for the season. So that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed this uh, video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.